bigger wolves. We got one more guy to try. All yeah. right. And he's a, he's a lot of animals, so let's see what we can do. Peggy takes me to the biggest, most aggressive wolf here. He's over 100 pounds. So that is a big male. This wolf lost its natural fear of humans because it was hand raised at another facility. When it arrived at the center, it wouldn't allow anyone close. It even attacked Peggy. But still, the animal must be cared for. So Peggy and her staff are trying a new strategy. They gang up like a pack to assert their dominance. That's him? Yeah. Yeah. He's trash talking already. Yeah, talking smack. <laughs> <laughs> be very careful. All right. So I suggest what we do, you guys, is sweep down this side and push him. Okay. And we'll take him either that corner or that corner. To get it to bite the bar, we have to corner it. And cornered animals are always dangerous encounters. That's intimidating. That's right. He is big. The closer we get, the bigger the wolf looks. Look at the hair standing up on his back. Stay right where you are. Go ahead and give him something to bite on. Four hundred and six pounds. Okay. Well, that was kind of a defensive bite. And that's one hell of a defensive bite, over 400 pounds. That's the highest bite force I've ever recorded from a canine. More force than its cousins, Africa's wild dogs, that came in at 317 pounds. And the domestic dog at 328. Oh, Rocky, okay, 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 okay. Come on! Wolves may pack a lot more bark in their bite than their canine counterparts, but they can't compete with the bite force of a giant croc. Part of the reason may be that unlike crocs, adult wolves have one set of teeth for life. They have to be very careful not to damage them biting too hard. One way to do that is by relying on the combined bite strength of the pack. 